Well, I left James in the um, knot end and uh, he's got the ferry across. So I've driven around 40, 45 minutes to nearly an hour and I'm meeting him this side of the ferry but we're just going to go to a cafe and have full breakfast before we start today's walk which is about 15 miles so uh, see you in the cafe it looks like we're in San Tropez here yeah, like wouldn't believe it's yeah. Fleetwood coming across <laughs> like, the Lancashire yeah. I was looking over it, it and like it's, the Mediterranean. yeah it's absolutely gorgeous is that where you got off the ferry there is it yeah, yeah. yeah happy days yeah make the most of today then Yeah. Someone's out fishing already. Up to these. Oh, got to be a story behind that. Yeah, so black pool there. Doesn't look too far, but there's still a fair few miles to get there. Hi right guys, so here's the man in question. <laughs> we had a nice breakfast in that cafe. Right. Set us up for the day, didn't we? Yeah, it was good. So, so James, as some of you will know, is walking the coast of Britain for uh, charity Mind. He's trying to raise as much yeah. awareness and money. But, uh, and you're on a roughly day, what are you on James? Uh, it's day 375 or something. 375, yeah. yeah. Maybe a bit more than that. Yeah. Uh, a long time, over a year, so. Yeah. That's, yeah, it's a bit hard to fathom, isn't it, really? That you yeah. took a full year out, give up your job and all that. And, yeah. Uh, but. Not go home or anything. Yeah. So. But yep. just across the way there is Wales. I know. You're, you're not far, mate. Somewhere. So, yeah. um, what would you say's been the highlight, and then what's been the lowest so far? Uh, I mean, probably the highlight, and apart from meeting up with me every <laughs> now and again. I mean. I guess the highlight and the lowest point is probably just the west coast of Scotland. <laughs> yeah. Which is just like amazingly beautiful and then just amazingly hard to walk in as well. So it was just a real challenge. Um, yeah, just challenging terrain, no food, not much water either. And, uh, I suppose that was a big issue, water, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was a drought in June. So yeah. um, it was just like desperately thirsty. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Yeah, West Coast is really hard, but like it's just absolutely beautiful up there and uh, pretty unspoiled as well. And you know, you see so much wildlife and like, otters and sea eagles and dolphins and um, yeah, so it's incredible up there. So but, they're the things that lift you back up when you're feeling a bit down. Definitely, yeah, yeah. yeah when you're slogging through, you know, wading through some heather that's up to your waist. <laughs> You know, when you see some dolphins, it's pretty special. So well, it does make it feel worth it. Yeah. <laughs> what about um, ticks? I saw a couple of posts. You were. Oh yeah. Quite yeah, covered. That's, yeah. Just covered in ticks. Just like hundreds of them. Yeah. Have you um, done anything like with regard to that? Have you taken sort of a precautionary set of antibiotics or something? Uh, or no. If you, no. Just for. Uh, yeah. So. Than them. There, there was one point where I. I I got vertigo and uh, that is supposedly a, like a symptom of Lyme disease, right. potential yeah, yeah. symptom. Yeah. Um, so I did get a bit concerned then, um, but uh, I just kind of monitored, I just kept an eye on it and if I got any more symptoms I'd, I would uh, go to the doctor or something, but yeah. Um, but yeah, it's been fine. It's hard as well because with Lyme disease, like the main symptom is being really tired. Yeah, <laughs> and isn't I was it? just really tired the whole time. So yeah, that's um, a hard one to judge. Yeah, exactly. So isn't it? Um, yeah, ticks were ticks were an absolute nightmare. It was a really bad year for them. And um, yeah, obviously like clouds of midges and 
Uh, horse flies as well, plagues as they call them. Horrible, isn't it? Yeah, those um, horse flies. Yeah, so. Oh, it's just, oh, it's just hard work. It's just <laughs> relentless. I, I, can't, I can't even begin to describe how, how tough it was. No, I, I think you'll need some time off and reflect. Yeah, yeah. Um, I really haven't had that much time to reflect on the whole thing. No, be, so. no, because you're just up like this morning, up. Up and walking, off. yeah. You know yeah I mean? Exactly. But um, now you're doing amazing. It's like, what do you, would you say then has been your longest day? Like, uh, what's the longest distance you've walked in one day? Uh, well, I walked, uh, so on the summer solstice, I walked for 24 hours. This is like a fundraiser. Yeah. Uh, and I walked 54 miles on that day, so. Yeah, that's pretty good, um, wasn't it? It's not yeah. bad, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Play. I know that one it wasn't you did. My, it wasn't my hardest day, actually, because no. uh, I had a friend come up to support me, so. I didn't have my rucksack or anything, but so that helped. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that, yeah, that was the longest day. Definitely. I remember that day I left you, and you had to go up to the sister-in-law's. That was a long oh, yeah. day, wasn't it? Yeah, Fit yeah. So well. to get there, that was a like 30, 39 mile day. Something like yeah. that, which is. And there were some hills on those coast, coastal bits. Yeah, there. yeah, that was going to North Berwick, wasn't it? Up to that point, that was by far like the hardest, longest <laughs> day, I think. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Hopefully she fed you well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, what was it haggis, haggis and chips? Is that haggis, it? yeah. <laughs> Deep fried haggis. Yeah. For someone. Uh, right, well, we're not too far. I say not too far. It's going to be a while yet. A good couple of <laughs> miles to uh, to get to Blackpool. Uh, and I'll probably come back to you there and see what other stories he's got for us. So stay tuned. <laughs> can actually see Blackpool Tower in the distance there. I saw it first so I get the pound. That's what we always used to say when we were driving <laughs> to Blackpool with the family in the car. Who spots oh, yeah. the tower first can have a pound. <laughs> oh dear, things you do eh? So what is this? Tide to come right in now. Tower's still in the distance there. The sound of the waves. So good for you. When you've listened to it for 365 plus days, <laughs> I bet you start to get a bit sick of it. <laughs> the sound of the waves. <laughs> we all That's think it's lovely. Right. But, uh, when you wake up in a puddle though, that's a bit daunting, <laughs> isn't it mate? You can tell us about that one later. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a north pier. The old tower. The nearest cafe we're gonna get to. James is uh, smoodling along, smoodling along. Fair few people on the pier. We're very fortunate with this weather. So we're getting closer and closer. We're looking for a cafe now to top up with some fluids. We've walked for two and a half hours, well just over. So I think we deserve a drink. Let's have a nice coke then. Lubricate us a little bit, wouldn't it, mate? Yep. Nice is hot. There you go. Right. So we're going to go up the tower. See what kind of views we can get. If there's any ballroom going on. Dun, dun, dun. Is that it? Oh, really? Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. This is a really poor choice. <laughs> Hello. It's 
Breezy out here, I reckon. <laughs> Bit cooler. Can't go paragliding off of here, mate. <laughs> Base jumping. A few people have tried, haven't they? Happy days. Nearly at the top now. Well, no, the last bit's closed. Yeah, Come on. Sorry, I apologize. 412. Take a lot to reveal the Happy days. Don't stand too close. It's very really? surreal. We're all a bloody war. We've gone into a time war, mate. We've gone into a time war. Good as like a pose. Please. Yep. A, a tea and a coffee, or a tea or a coffee, or a can of pop. Okay. Sure. Okay. Elvis Presley Boulevard. Get in there. Doing a test run on it. Round the globe. <laughs> Fun and games has been a fantastic day. Weather, I couldn't have asked for better. So uh, I'm grateful for the sun. Sadly, James is going to have it raining tomorrow for the next couple of days, but he's dealt with worse. Tram ride back to go and get the van. Very 
pretty around here right now. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to finish a walk, mate. A Toby Carvery. I <laughs> know, <laughs> <laughs> stuffing it in everywhere. You need your energy, mate. Good day today. Happy days. I'm sorry. Yeah, you better get your waterproofs on, mate. <laughs> this weather isn't looking good for you for the next couple of days. Have you got waterproof leggings as well? Yeah. Yeah. Because this is going to be in for the day, you may as well. Yeah, just try and stay as dry as you can, matey. But, uh. Yep. Yeah. I think your feet will end up wet anyway, won't they, obviously? Yeah, I know. They're just about dried out as well. <laughs> the sun's all that, isn't it? Like, yeah. Yeah. Alright then. Alright, matey. So, love you and leave you. I'll see you in a couple of days, maybe, or hear from you in a couple of days. Yeah, that'd be good. And, um,. They say if you're stuck for somewhere to sleep again, just give right. us a bell. And uh, hopefully you don't get caught in quicksand around there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> around that patch. So watch yourself getting out here. Yeah. Fucking busiest time of day, isn't it? Most dangerous bit. Yeah. Uh, well, there right. you go. <gasps> Happy days, mate. We'll catch you soon. <laughs> Incredible, like they say, but. Um, He's done fantastic, and if you'd like to support him, just look up James Mind Walk, the UK coastal, um, and yeah, maybe maybe donate or whatever if you feel it right for you to do so. I wish I could have done a few more days with him, but I will be doing Snowden with him, uh, which hopefully will be. Saturday or Sunday so um, unless he gets like a move on it may be a little bit sooner the weather should be good for the weekend so uh, fingers crossed for him so uh, yep yeah, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this one catching up with him to see how well he's been doing uh, he's a proper inspiration we all struggle with uh, mental health from time to time and the organization mind has uh, helped him and me uh, and thousands of others so uh, yeah get behind him guys see you on the next one